In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can add reaction emojis like Facebook on our WordPress blog post. So if you want to increase engagement on your WordPress website, then let's dive in. When you have a WordPress blog, then there are many times that people visit your blog, they read it completely, they like it, but they don't go down to the comment section and leave a comment there. Now, there would be many reasons for that. Some of might not feel confident enough to enter their details and do the comments. And most of them will skip just because of they are done with reading and they got what they want. So by adding the reaction emojis on our blog post like Facebook, this could entice the visitor to leave at least one reaction without even entering their details. And that is surely going to increase the engagement on our website. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how we can do that. So here we are in our WordPress backend. We are using the version 6.1 right now. So now we go to plugins and then click on add new. And here we will search for WP Reaction Lite. So this is a plugin that we need to use. So let's click on install and then click on activate. All right, let's go to settings. So right now, by default, the reactions are off. We need to turn it on. So let's turn them on from here. And here it says your reactions are now live. At the bottom, we get a customization option as well. So let's click on this. So here we can select what kind of emojis we want. So we don't want all of them. So let's uncheck all of them first. What we want is a like, a dislike, maybe a heart, or maybe we can also add a shocking emoji. Now you can go ahead and add seven emojis in this free version. But here on their website, you can also check out their pro plans as well. I'll leave a link in the video description below. So now we are done with the emojis which we want to use. And let's click on next. And here we have static emojis or we have the animated one. So I'll keep it animated one for this example. And let's keep them small so that they are not right in our face. So here we can enable or disable the badge, but this option is for the pro one. And here is the placement option where we want to place these emojis. So right now we can choose pages, post or keep them on both. So let's go ahead and select post from here and where we want to show these emojis. Let's keep it on both before and after our content and we will align them in center. Let's click on next and here we can choose a call to action. Right now the default text is what's your reaction. So you can go ahead and customize that as well. Below this we have font size and we can edit this text as per our website theme. And after this we have emoji background styling. So right now it is set on background color white. So I leave it as it is. And you can also play around with the background border as well. So let's click on next. So here we also have some social share buttons. So right now we can keep on Facebook, Twitter and email. So let's say we turn off email from here. We will just keep Facebook and Twitter. And again, if we have the pro plan, we can add more social share buttons. After this, we have the settings for these buttons as well. So I will leave them as it is. And then let's click on next. And this is how our buttons should look like. So let's save and exit. All right, so these are the reactions that we should see on our blog post. So let's see how it looks in the front end. Here we have our sample post. Let's go ahead and edit this for a minute. All right, so here we are in the content area of this post. Let's go ahead and add some content here. And if we scroll down at the very bottom, we have the WP reaction tab. Here we can set some predefined values for like, dislike, heart and shock or whatever emojis we have set. And below this, we have the statistics for these reactions. So here we can see how people are using these buttons and what are their actual reactions. And once we are done, let's go ahead and click on update and open this post in a new tab. All right, so here is our sample blog post. And at the very beginning, we have the reactions here. And if we scroll down at the very bottom, we have the reaction here at the bottom as well. Let's say we click on heart. So now we have one showing up on heart emoji. And after this, we have an option to share this on Facebook as well as on Twitter. And now if we go ahead and refresh our backend. And if we scroll down at the very bottom, here we can see in the statics, it shows that we have one heart for this post. 
So this is how easy it is to set up Facebook like emoji reactions on your WordPress post to increase your website engagement. So that's it for this quick tutorial and I'll see you in the next video very soon.